Hello, my name is Marty Windle and welcome to the SBL Guru Podcast. We're going to continue today to look at strategy in real life or using SBL in real life companies or real life organizations. Today's topic is from the ACCA SBL syllabus and we're going to look at the use of big data. Now, the first thing we can talk about is what is big data? Well, big data is very large data sets, and we can then use those data sets to analyze the information that they provide to make decisions which will help us in our organization. And that's what data analytics is all about, using the data in a way that is beneficial to us. Now, in the ACCA SBL syllabus, they talk about four ways in which you can use the big data. They are for prescriptive, predictive, diagnostic, and descriptive purposes. So if we take the first one, which is prescriptive, like when you go to the doctor and they give you a prescription, they tell you what to do. So by using big data algorithms, we can look at the data and it will tell us what to do. So how could we use this in a football club? In a football club, it may be used in a number of ways. First thing we can look at is we can look at the data and it will tell us which player to buy. By looking at the statistics, we can look at which player is the best player for us to buy. Now, there's data available for every football team in the country, but also for every age of player in the country. A famous England footballer called Jude Bellingham, he joined Birmingham City at the under eight level. He was the youngest first team player when he made his senior debut in 2019. He joined Borussia Dortmund, the German football club. They spotted his potential from a very early age because they were using big data to track all his statistics. And that big data said, this is the best person to buy. I recommend you buy this player. Now, we can also use this data when analyzing the opposition team. So we can crunch the data, look at the statistics. Every time the opposition team will play, there'll be a whole host of data collected about the opposition team. We can then use our algorithms to identify those weaknesses, and it will tell us how we can play the game, what tactics we can use to defeat the opposition team. So at Manchester City, Pep Guardiola is a big fan of using data. He uses it to analyze opposition teams. So whenever he's playing an opposition team, they look at the statistics and it will prescribe a particular way of playing. He can then use that to create and train the team for that week. The second thing is to use the big data in a predictive way, which can help to give the football clubs an advantage on and off the field. So it's going to be used to predict something that is going to happen. So football clubs might use this for injury prevention. What they look at is look at a player's performance over a period of time and the type of injuries they get, they would then adjust the training they do to prevent those injuries from occurring in the future. They can also look at historical patterns to predict what team the opposition is likely to put up in the next game. They can then organize their tactics in a way that will try best to defeat that team. A football club will also use diagnostic data analytics. Diagnostic, find out what the problems are. Find out why something happened in the past. So what they could do is look at data when the when a football team won a game and look at what factors were in place. What did we do right, which caused the team to win? But they could also look at other factors when a team lost a game. What were the influencing factors which caused the team to lose? So they can look at all the data and try to number crunch and use algorithms to try to identify what causes a team to win, what were the influencing factors which would cause a team to win, and what were the influencing factors which would cause the team to lose. The final part of big data analysis is called descriptive. And descriptive big data looks at what is happening now in the organization, what is happening now in the football club. Now, a football club may use this in the commercial side of their business. They may try to measure the amount of fan engagement. What are the levels of web traffic? What are the levels of social media interaction on the club's website? They can then use that to develop marketing campaigns around their key players in order to improve engagement with the football supporters, but also adapt their social media strategy 
to help them increase sales and get more sponsorship in the future. Big data can also be used by football clubs to analyze their commercial partnerships. Describe what is happening now. Are we getting a good relationship with our commercial partners? Are there any of our commercial partners that are causing problems or have suffered from bad publicity? They can then take action quickly to rectify these issues and make sure that they're addressed before they cause a major problem for the organization. Now, if you're going to introduce big data into a football club, it's not an easy thing to do. There are a lot of issues you may face and there are a number of potential problems you may face in introducing big data in a football club or in any organization. You're likely to face a certain degree of resistance to change. People prefer the non-technology ways. They prefer the feel of I'm a great manager. I can work it out for myself. I don't need the data. So you're going to face a high degree of resistance to change, especially from those very traditional football managers. With any big data source, you've also got the issue of data collection. Where are you going to collect the data from? Do you have enough data? Do you have systems in place to collect the data? So data Analytics is only good as the data that you collect. Some of it may be publicly available. Sometimes you can pay companies to provide that data to you, but, but sometimes you might have to collect it yourself. So it's going to be a problem and an investment for you to invest in the technology you need to collect that big data. But many football clubs have invested in different types of technology, such as their own GPS technology that they use during their training sessions. Every player wears its own GPS detector. There's also the risk that there is an overemphasis by some managers on data and they miss the qualitative aspects of the game like player morale and the ability of a player to feel good about the way they're playing. So sometimes managers overemphasize data at the expense of other intangible factors. Whenever you talk about data security, you've always got the issue of privacy and whether or not that data is protected. So that's something else you may need to consider when you're having data analytics. Well, that's how big football clubs use data to give them a competitive advantage and improve their overall performance. But don't forget any organization, if it's a large enough organization, it can use big data to make better decisions. These elements are available in any organization. It's not just applicable to the football clubs. Any organization can use big data. Well, there we go. That's big data. So please look out for that in your SBL examination. My name is Marty Windle. If you want to do my course, I've got various courses. Please look at the link in the description. I've got revision courses platinum courses, mock exam courses, please see my link in the description and get in touch if you need support to help you to get through the SBL exam or you've failed and you need extra help on revision. Please get in touch. Thank you very much and good luck in your exam.